Hey guys, it's Bea, your happy bee, and last June, one of my closest friends and I went to Taiwan, and of course, my personal mission was to drink one milk tea every single day. From the National Palace Museum, I don't know. It's like a roasted milk tea. Oh. Do you like that, Anika? What do you mean roasted? Like nuts? Roasted Smoky. yung tea. Roasted yung tea before they... Oh, okay, I get it. Brew yeah. It. Oh, tastes oh. good. This one, you want to try it? Professional. Mm. Brew it. I need to learn how to say pearl or something. <gasps> tastes good, right? Yes, yes, I like it. It's like Burberry rice tea shop. Burberry... I guess we're not roasted. Burberry crispy issue. Vibe. Crispy vibe, roasted nga kasi. Cheers! Yay! She got brown sugar from this guy. Isn't this guy famous? I know, right? First milk tea in Taiwan. Yeah. And that was my first ever milk tea in Taiwan. And honestly, I still don't know what it's called. I don't know what type of tea it is. I can just taste that it's a roasted milk tea. And that's because the entire menu was in Mandarin. But what I did was I just showed the waiter this. This is a Google translation of what bestseller is in Mandarin and I don't know if it's accurate but I did end up with a really delicious milk tea. This is milk tea number two and this time I got a caramel milk tea with pudding and also 50% sugar. Just cause you know I'm on a diet. <laughs> the pudding is one solid blob. Do you see it? Mm. Mm. This is my style. This is like a light caramel taste. Oh, more, more like a caramel based light coffee flavor. Compared to the first one, I drank this higher. Boba, brown sugar, boba, and then they like plain torch. Ah, torch. Plain beans, small right? I don't know. What's the torch? Cause it that what you call that thingy and torch. Packaging is special. Well, it's curved. Let's try it. It's the milk type. The milk. Is it milky? Okay. There's still strawberries. Really? It's not fake. Hey guys, so it's milky number four. Fourth milky. Oh my god, it's almost over. But we got to get that cocoa to this random, not even Taipei, guys. <laughs> but we got the double black tea with the pearl, so let's taste it. Even if it looks the same as the normal milk tea with pearl, this one tastes more tea than the other original pearl milk tea, which I don't like. I'm gonna say it. I don't like that. It's too much. But this one, this one's my bet. I rank this below the roasted tea and above the brown sugar tea. This is gonna be the most expensive milk tea I'm gonna get. Ooh, someone's making it. Finding Annika. She said she wants milk tea, now she's in here. Oh my god. This was her 
sure of, but instantly when I drank it, I felt so guilty. Because it's like drinking liquid sugar. <laughs> Drinking the Arnival of oh, the yeah, of the, the hall. Hall. I'm so shy because it's an intersection. But it's the fifth day, last day, last milk tea. This one is from Share Tea and it's actually the most expensive thing that I got. But it's a mashed taro drink. So they said to stir it, so stir it. There's pearls and milk with the mashed taro. Some of you may call it. Is it the same thing? No. I thought it was the same thing. Pero ube is purple yam. And taro is. Taro. Is taro purple yam? Alba! You want them to? This is so good. Really? Usually taro has an ube y taste. Yeah. As in, an artificial ube taste if you buy it. This is, this is like real mashed, delicious taro. It's different. I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe this is real taro. Pureed. Just pureed. pureed taro. And then the tiny white sago tastes so good. It's very sweet and it's only 50%. The lady was right. I wanted to get 70. And she was like, no. <laughs> you see? <laughs> no, you're crazy. <laughs> you will die from shock. Mm. I think number one. I'm gonna rank this number one for the wow factor and like just uniqueness of it. So yeah, number one. Share tea, mash taro. But I also think you get your money's worth if it's number one. Because I mean, it's most expensive. Right? Most expensive, but it's not like a basic. Yeah, Perfect. flavor. Yeah. Anyway. Now that I have my ranking over here, I am going to be honest, I do have to do a switcheroo and switch the caramel pudding milk tea with the TPT because I just think that that TPT was so good. The milk tea itself was delicious and it would just be super duper perfect if I knew how to say pearl or pudding at that time, but yeah. So this is my final ranking. If you guys have been to Taiwan or just a milk tea lover yourself, go ahead and comment down below your favorite milk teas and I'll see you guys next time.